everyone, welcome to Gilpub TV. Today I want to talk about feeling like a fraud in business. And what I mean by that is when you are new to business, perhaps you are new to being self-employed or freelance, or even if you're just taking on a new role or a new job, and people ask you what you do, and you feel like a fraud telling them. So I'll give you an example. When I started out as a freelance copywriter, it was the first time that I was going out into the world and telling people that that's what I did. I had been writing for quite a while, but it had never been my job title. So when people said to me for the first time, what do you do? And I said, I'm a copywriter. There was a little voice in the back of my head that was going, no, you're not. You're not really a copywriter. Why are you telling them that? And obviously you don't want to put that forward, but that's what's kind of going on in the back of your mind. And I expect if you are new to a role or you've been new to a role or even, like I say, new to freelancing or entrepreneurship, then you probably know that little voice because I think it crops up for a lot of us. The same thing was true when I started as a project manager for the first time. Um, and that was a job that I'd never done before and when I went into it, it took about six months for me to stop feeling like I was trying to do a project manager's job and to start feeling like I was a project manager. And I found that it's been pretty much the same with the copywriting. I'm kind of eight months or so in now, um, so coming up for a year, and I'm now starting to feel like when I tell people I'm a copywriter, I actually am, and I'm no longer lying to them. <laughs> So if this is a feeling that you are experiencing, there are some things that you can think about and remember that are gonna help you when that feeling starts to crop up. So the first thing to remember is that nobody is born into a job role. So even if it's something that you feel like you've wanted to do your whole life or you've been doing ever since you got out of school or university, no one is born a copywriter or an electrician or a builder or a painter or whatever it is. People all have to learn those skills and get comfortable in those roles. I'm actually part of the Professional Copywriters Network and I was looking through a forum on there the other day and I saw a survey uh, which was cited by one of their members, Tom Albrighton, and I will link him below. And the survey that he'd done was asking copywriters what they'd done before they were copywriters. And I had a look at it and the mix of different professions was amazing. So you had people who used to be electricians, people who used to be, uh, I think there were theatre ushers on there, um, painters, bankers, literally any career you can imagine that you wouldn't necessarily link to copywriting, people had done and then decided to become a copywriter. Now I'm very much the same, I used to be a project manager, now I'm a freelance copywriter. And at first I felt like that was something of a disadvantage for me, that there were people out there who had been doing copywriting all their lives or had come from some other kind of publishing or editorial background, whereas I had obviously come from project management. What I know now, after doing this for as long as I have been, is that it's actually great to have some different experience before you start doing a job like this because the project management skills that I learned have really really helped me to be able to not only manage my own business and sell my services but also manage the work that I do so when I work with clients there's a, a managerial element to it I can schedule things with them I can go back and forth with them on revisions I can work with their team in-house perhaps and figure out what it is that they want so the project management has really really helped me and in fact so has the industry that I came from with what I'm doing now so if you are doing something that is, is in no way related to copywriting and you fancy doing something like copywriting or if you're doing something and you fancy doing something else completely different even if if it's nothing to do with copywriting, then don't be put off by that because that's actually something that a lot of people do is skip from one career to another and it can actually be really, really beneficial. The second thing to remember is that everyone feels like this, but nobody talks about it. That's kind of one of the rules of business, which is a bit unfortunate at times because sometimes it helps to know what other people are going through. However, if you Google forums, scared, being a copywriter, help, fraud, feel like a fraud, you're going to find those conversations, which is what I did yesterday when I was looking up stuff for this video. So there are forums out there where people support each other in all different professions, not just copywriting. 
and you will find the conversations going on there and very 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 often you'll see a thread about this feeling like a fraud, feeling like an imposter and you'll find that if you look through those forums everyone feels like it and that's people from all different types of background they'll all feel exactly the same thing until they get in their stride so if you're experiencing that and you feel like the rest of the world is really confident and knows exactly what they're doing don't be fooled by it. Everyone's selling themselves at the best self they can be, but in fact, everyone has insecurities, and if you just Google the right words, you will see them. Now, you might think, yes, okay, I am a copywriter, or whatever it is that you do, but I'm new, so I'm still learning, and that's absolutely fine. I haven't even been doing this a year yet, so I am still learning, but I'm learning every day, and I'm in such a different position now to how I was when I set up back in the summer. I know so much more, I've learned so much more, I've done a lot of work and I've got a lot of experience and every day that goes by we're all getting that experience and we're all learning and that goes for the people who have been doing it for 30 years as well so you might look up to people in your industry and think these guys have been doing it for 20 30 years they know so much more than I do sure they do that's what comes with experience but you also have to remember that they are also learning people never stop learning so it's an ongoing experience for everyone and we're all in the same boat if I take copywriting as an example, and this probably applies to many industries as well, you also have to remember that the industry itself can be changing at the same rate. So for someone like me who's come into copywriting in 2014-2015, yes I am 20 years behind the people who started 20 years ago, but I'm right here at the moment when web copywriting, blogs, email campaigns, search engine optimization are all at the top of their game. So people who were perhaps you know, copywriting 20 years ago, they may have the experience, sure, but they're still learning the new mediums of the web in exactly the same way that I am. So even if you've been doing something for a long time, the chances are that the environment you're working in will have developed, technology will have developed, so everyone's always on that learning path together. So remember that just like me with my project management history or the guys online with their experience across the board in all kinds of different jobs, everyone brings something new to the table when they start in business. So if you are a new freelancer or new to entrepreneurship or business or if you are just new in a new job role, forget about your newness and think about what you've done already. Think about the experience that you do have. If you like this video, you might also like an article which I recently wrote for Lightbox. I will put the link below and that was all about how to have faith in yourself as a new entrepreneur and I included one easy tip which is very easy for everyone to do so go check that out also check out my website www.gilpub.com where you will find more tips on copywriting and the freelance lifestyle and you can connect with me on twitter at, at hannah gill